Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in this series of videos we're going to go through the Bootstrap 4 basics. We're currently on version 4.3.1. Bootstrap is absolutely awesome for building fast responsive websites. So today we're going to go through and we're going to go and set up our basic page ready for our website. And I'll put this link below the video so you've got it here. We're going to go to getbootstrap.com. I'm going to hit the get started button. Now we could write this out longhand, which is pretty easy to do. You've got everything you need to do it right here. But we're going to try and make this as easy as possible. So on the get started page, if you scroll down, they've actually got a starter template. So if you select this, Just select the template here, hit Control C to copy. I'm going to open up a text editor, it doesn't matter what text editor you use. We're using Brackets today. Brackets is a free text editor. If you want to use it, you can download it from a link below the video. I'm going to get rid of what I've got here and I'm going to start new. Now with brackets you can actually do this with some inbuilt extensions but I'm going to pretend like you haven't got this. So I'm just going to hit new. I'm going to paste what we've just copied in there. There it is and it's pretty boring looking because we haven't told it what kind of document it is. So let's save our document now. I've got an empty folder here for our project. It's just an empty folder I've called basics. I'm going to go ahead and save this in our project and we need to save it as a file type. So we're going to go down to save as and we want to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it index. As a general rule, your first page of your website is always called index, whether it's HTML or PHP depending on what framework you're working on. You can call it anything you want, but when you go live, your first page wants to be called index. So I've called it index.html, the type of file that it is, which is an HTML file. Save that. And you can see now this has turned into a colored version because it knows what type of code it is because we've called it HTML. So there we have, we've got our basic page structure here. Now if I go over to this folder and double click on this, it'll open it in our browser of choice. And this is what we've got here. Just a little page with Hello World on it. Uh, not very interesting, but it is the skeleton on which we're going to build the rest of the site. So if I go back to this, we'll just briefly discuss what we've got going on here. We've got the doc type, which is an HTML document. We've got that language, which is English. Then it opens the head section, where we're going to pull in our style sheets. Character sets UTF-8, which is pretty normal for European type sites. Viewport is the thing that's going to make it responsive. Bootstrap CSS, this is the styling for our Bootstrap site here. That's got the basic CSS that allows us to do a bunch of things real quickly. And underneath here, we've got a title. And we've called the site Hello World. You know, you want to change that to whatever you want to call your website. That's the end of the head section there. Now we're opening the body section. And there's that little script, which is heading title H1 Hello World. Underneath we've got some scripts and these are usually down at the end of the page before you're closing body tags. And we've got our jQuery. jQuery. And we've got a Cloudflare popper. And we've actually got the Bootstrap 4.3.1.js. Which makes everything work. So that's a basic explanation of what we got here. And we'll be building between the body tags, opening tag, closing tag. Closing tag's always got a forward slash. 
As a general rule, if you have an opening tag, say we've got that opening title tag, you've always got to have a closing tag. There's the closing one, forward slash title. So let's just go ahead and change this up to my bootstrap site, or whatever you want to call yours. Now then, what we're going to do as well, be styling this using CSS. And we're going to create an external style sheet so that we can actually put our CSS in there. If we look above, we've got a link that says relative style sheet that's pulling in the default bootstrap one. We're just going to create one of our own. So I'm going to drop down a couple. I'll actually copy this bit of code right here, link relative style sheet and the href equals. I'll paste it below. Now I'm going to put a title there that doesn't exist at the moment. Custom.css, which is what I'll call my CSS file in a minute. And I've got to have a closing inverted commas there. And I want to close out that tag. So we're pulling in CSS styles from Bootstrap cdn.com which is the online bootstrap one and we're also going to be pulling them in from our custom CSS file that we've not created yet so let's go ahead and create that I'm going to hit control s just to save now I'm going to go up to file I'm going to hit new I'm going to just put in a title which is forward slash star star forward slash then in between the stars it's where you put your title if you put a forward slash star and end it with a star forward slash it will not be read as code so you can put titles in to let people know what various sections are and when you've got hundreds of lines of CSS this is really useful Now I'm going to save this as custom CSS, which was the name we put in our index.html. You see custom CSS. In fact, I can copy that. As long as it's got the .css on the end, it will read it as a cascading styling sheet. So I'm going to click on this one. Hit save as. I'm going to save it in the same folder as we saved our index.html. there we have it that's grayed out now because it knows it's a comment because I've told it it's a CSS file all right well let's make this work let's make the actual CSS do something so we got some body tags here I'm going to make the body background blue just out of interest if we go to our custom style sheet we knew that was the body so I'm going to body open and close some curly brackets let's say background colon I'm just going to say blue I'm not going to select any particular hexadecimal number as this is just a, an example control s to save now if we go back to our website which is here and refresh you see our page has now got a blue background so any styling we want to do to the letters or to anything like that we can do in our custom style sheet. So there we have it. There's our basic file structure. We've set up our basic page and our custom CSS file. That'll do for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. Please continue watching as we build this site. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.